Jason Hines is the All right, ladies and gentlemen, more now for the second experienced half fighter of our quarter fight. At 35 years old with Dan being only 20 Fighting out years of the red old. corner. Weighing in at 146 pounds. Let's see if the experience. He represents MAS Thai Boxing Academy. He's wearing some black trucks tonight. And he has a very impressive record of 30 wins, six losses. Six of those wins by knockout. From Cambridge, Canada, Dan Kachigo. And now, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks as well. Weighing in at 146 pounds and representing pound for pound. With also a very impressive, impressive record of 29 wins and six losses. Out of Toronto, Canada, Jason Mad Hatter Hayes. Yeah, we've got 35 years old at Jason Hines versus 20 years old for Dan Kachenko. Man, 20 years old with 36 fights under his belt already. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. A lot of experience. That's amazing. Let's put it on display. Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Protect yourself at all times. Listen to my instructions at all times. In the event of a stoppage, go to neutral corner until I tell you to come out. Touch him out. Touch him up gloves. Come out fighting. Here we go. Third fight of our quarterfinals. Jason Hines versus Dan Kachego. This should be a great fight. A lot Both of fighters, experience very between experienced. these guys. Very relaxed, both guys. It's powerful kicks. Beautiful combination. That hook to low kicks really landing well. Mm. Jason Hines right off the bat. He needs to stay on him. Stay there on is him. no slow start to this one. None whatsoever. Fireworks are flying. He wants to finish it early. Jason needs to keep it in the corner. Dan was smiling and at him in the corner over there saying, come on. Yeah, Dan had his hands up. He wasn't really hurt, but... Jason could have slipped one in there. He was looking. Yeah, Jason's 35 years old. He's looking, he's looking to finish this fight. Um, you know, he, he's definitely one of the older fighters on the card. So he's, he's, he doesn't want to go three rounds if he doesn't have to. So he's really looking to finish this heart, this fight quick. It's almost like mirror images the way they're fighting. Both of them throwing a nice hook to kick combinations, working the clinch work. Yeah, well, I mean, they both have, you know, over 30 fights. So they're, they're veterans of the sport. They know how this game works. That was a slip. That was a slip. Hopefully Jason didn't throw him, punch himself out in the beginning of the round. Yeah, J Jason's looking just a little bit more tired at this point than yeah, Dan is. Started off uh, on his toes. He's a yeah. little bit more flat-footed now, but still jumping in with that knee. I don't think Dan can really, he knows what to make of Jason Hines at this point. I, I, All right, here we go, round two. Again, another close fight. Let's see who can get the momentum going into this round. Jason's smiling, he's happy to be here. Throwing beautiful combinations in the beginning of the round once again. He's working the body really well with that yeah. right hand. Good uppercut inside. Jace, Jason's bringing the pressure, he, he, and he's doing a good job. He's coming in and he's, he's sneaking a couple shots in here and there. Dan's doing a good job at covering up. Um, Dan really needs to get in the clinch here. He, he's getting beaten on the outside just by sheer volume almost. Nice takeover. 
You know, if Dan would get in that clinch, he, he might be able to even this up a little bit. Jason's really controlling shots from the, the right distance. Dan's covering up and throwing, but he's just not finding that right range. That knee got through. Yeah, that knee definitely hit. You can Jason. see the frustration in uh, Dan's eyes a little bit from here. Yeah, it's hard to expect somebody throwing body shots. This is not a normal technique that you see in a lot of Muay Thai fights. Jason's really digging the body with that right. Yeah, he's, he's really working on the body. Jason's just pretty much throwing everything at him. Jason is throwing everything he can oh. at Dan. Dan's starting to find the range with his left hand. First one came close, second one hit pretty good. Yeah, but unfortunately he's taking a lot of shots to find that range. Only takes one shot to finish the fight. Oh, someone almost goes out of the ring. Beautiful, beautiful textbook dump by Dan. Almost put Jason on his head and uh, outside the ring. There was a lot of power in that. It looks like he launched from about three feet. And that's what he needs to keep doing. He needs to stay in that clinch, hit a couple knees, dump J Jason. Jason Hines is using tricky knees inside. Dan's continuing to work and he's scoring points. But Jason's really turning the point of the knee into his belly. Good sidestepping there. And here we go, round three. Jason Hines, Dan Cachego. Jason's playing it smart, using his distance. Yeah, J Jason feels like he's ahead on the cards, I think, and he's, he's gonna play it smart, gonna hit that jab, keep him at the link. Oh. That's what happens when righty versus lefty. You know, it, as much as nobody likes to see that, the fighters should be wearing steel groin cups, um, you know, to, to help protect them against groin shots like that, you know. Steel or no steel, that hurts. It, it does hurt, <laughs> it does hurt. But he should have a steel groin cup on as well. Hey, you're crazy to wear anything but a steel cup. In Plastic cup turns into a switchblade if it gets cracked. Yeah. And you don't want a switchblade down there. <laughs> <laughs> Might cut you up a little bit. Yeah. And the fighter's got five minutes now. He, he has five. After groin shot, they stop the clock, and the fighter has five minutes to recover from this. Um, it's very rare to see a fighter take a full five minutes. The unfortunate thing is if you really do take a hard groin shot, it does knock the wind out of you sometimes, and it is hard to get your rhythm back. Yeah, it's definitely very hard to get your rhythm back. And while you're taking your five minutes rest to recover your groin shot, your opponent's just taking five minutes to breathe. Yeah, if you look at Dan right now, it looks like uh, he's hungry. <laughs> Jason's going back to the mobility game. Dan's got to really find his distance to get inside. You can definitely tell he's frustrated. It was not a bad strategy. He baited Jason in, tried to get some shots off, but Jason Hines is really effectively using the ring. Dan's going to have to go for broke here. Yeah, Dan needs to get, he needs to get his hands and legs moving, not just stand in front and try to walk in. He needs to work his way in. Get them hands moving, get that leg moving. And scoring with those hands, again, throwing bombs. He knows he's got to land. The time for scoring points is over. He's going for the knockout. Dan's really loading up on everything now. He's actually getting pretty close. Uh, he needs to keep his balance under him. He's low. Those were good shots, but he's a little off balance. He needs to really sit down on them punches. Dan's definitely of the school of thought he's gonna die trying. He is not stopping trying to win this fight the whole time. Hey, it's an eight man turn. You see the size of the cup they get, they're winning the trophy? Yeah. I'd die trying to get that too. Especially with 800 bucks tossed into it. Yep. <laughs> Effective pressure here by Dan, but Jason's really been controlling it. And again, he keeps scoring with these big punches, keeps the kicks flying. Yeah, both fighters just kind of winging shots now. Throwing it up to our ring announcer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these fighters, man. They really put it out there tonight. Okay, after three rounds of action, we have our winner by unanimous decision. From Toronto, Canada, Jason Mad Hatter. Yeah. Oh. 
Looks like the judges are thinking the way we are tonight, so we've been lucky so far.